Hi everybody, my name is Miriam Orline and this is Art for Art's Sake. I am the owner of New Elements Gallery in Wilmington, North Carolina. The content here is intended for art people who love art from the novice to the seasoned art collector, art gallery owners, or artists. So today we're going to talk about sustainable art. The first person I'm going to talk about, and this, this whole episode is going to be about functionality. I think that's probably the easiest way and most approachable way that most of us think about um, functional art and sustainable art um, is art that you can use. So we're going to talk about some of the potters that we represent. The first one up is Ryan McFall of Humble Pottery. Ryan's local. He was born and raised here in Wilmington, North Carolina, but he studied with a gentleman who's a, a mentor of his. David McDonald, and he's in, he was in Prescott, Arizona, but he uh, let Ryan do a, an internship with him and he taught him how to make, this is an example of his wonderful mugs. Um, they're humble pottery. This is his signature right here, if you can see that. And um, he does small mugs, large mugs, um, and he also does several colors. This is this is a really popular color from my region because we're coastal. Um, he also does a white glaze that's really beautiful. So for it to be functional, you have to be able to eat and drink out of it. And potters that work in this um, arena always have glazes that are food safe. Um, and you can always ask the gallerist or the artist if, you know, if it's a mug, it's usually pretty obvious. But a lot of times people will ask me, can I put flowers in this vase or can I drink out of this cup? And the gallerist or the artist should be able to tell you those things. The Japanese have a name for this. It's called Mengei. And most of Ryan's work does center around art that is functional and that you can use in your home. Another great example of Ryan's work is this platter. It's beautiful. I mean, the detail and the glazing, and I have a couple of them. I've already sold one, but uh, it's made, it has a hanger, so it's made to hang on the wall. So you can take it straight from the wall and to your tabletop. And I think that, you know, I've, I'm over 45 and a woman in Southern, and so I look at Pinterest a lot. Some of the charcuterie boards that you're seeing on Pinterest, a bunch of, meat and cheese or vegetables, whatever you want to put on here would be beautiful. It's also beautiful on your wall. You can also use this. Um, I like to display platters in my house on an acrylic stand. And again, an art dealer, or you can go online and go and find some of those things. And it's stable enough to where you can put something pretty sturdy on an acrylic stand like that in your house. Ifan Strickland is one of our potters here in town, and she is actually a, was a student of Hiroshi Siyoshi. Hiroshi Siyoshi is a world-renowned master, and he's considered a North Carolina treasure he can no longer create. But Ifan loves to make little cups like this. They're beautiful. It's kind of like a mug, but it doesn't have a handle, but you could do anything with this. And again, these are food-safe glazes. I also have, um, this is a beautiful plate and she did a series of these and we actually displayed them in a home show where we were trying to show people what your table would look like um, if you just used handmade things to set your table. And I, being Southern <laughs> and uh, being a woman of a certain age, I do have China, but when I grew up, my mother had China and there was good China and then there was everyday China and there was things you could put in the microwave and things that you couldn't. Most of the time we do recommend that most of these things are microwavable, but you need to ask the potter or the, the gallerist. I have stopped putting any pottery through my dishwasher. If I buy it from a gallery or I buy it from an artist, I don't put it through the dishwasher. I also, I hand wash those things, uh, but, and I think that you can probably put them in the microwave, but um, you know, Pottery is not as delicate, I think, as most people think it is. But it's very functional. These are very beautiful. You could also use this for a non-food purpose. It would be great with um, if you had it in your bathroom or on your your where you get dressed in the morning. This would be a wonderful place to put 
your cufflinks, your watch, um, things that you wear every day and that you pick up and put on every day. But, um, but it is food safe. And Ifen is actually one of our artists that not only does functional items, but she also does um, just sculpt, straight up sculpture. And she's good at everything. Um, and probably one of the last thing, the last artist that I'm gonna talk about with this is Rachel Fry. And she's newer for us, but she is a SCAD artist, Savannah College of Art and Design. And I wanted a really great um, fabric artist and I really didn't have one. And a lot of the things that I see are a little bit more um, homespun looking. And I really wanted something that was not crafty looking, that was contemporary. And so Rachel was the answer to a small prayer. And what I'm gonna show you is actually her coasters. But I'm gonna revisit Rachel in another um, video because her art has several ways about it that make it sustainable. But today we're just gonna talk, she has little coasters and she also makes little koozies. And um, though she's talked a little bit about her process, but I'm hoping at some point to do some videos with her or at least pass her videos on and repost them. But um, her process is really unique and she does different things with, with her dyes um, that I find are really interesting. And um, they're all very contemporary, and very beautiful. And um, in this way, they're very functional, so. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Art for Art's Sake.